Hey everyone, welcome back. It's another Whiskey Quickie, and today we're looking at something that was highly, ex- I was going to say highly expected, but highly anticipated. And maybe expected and anticipated. Maybe expected. You knew about it coming from years ago, but this is Heaven Hill's new grain to glass. And this is something that, again, it's eight years in the making for this. And this line began, again, eight years ago with an idea that came from Max Shapira, and it led to a partnership with a seed company called Bex Hybrids. They chose different kind of corn seed seed varietals and then grew them on Peterson Farms, which is on one of the two sites in Nelson County, one of which is actually across the street from Heaven Hills Bardstown facility. We are going to be doing the weeded bourbon. There was actually three different releases, but we're going to be the weeded bourbon today. This is bottled at 121 proof. It has a mash bill of 52% corn, 35% wheat, 13% malted barley, and it has an SRP of $100. All right. I've been excited to try these. I've known about this project for a while and I've driven past that cornfield for probably 30 years. So <laughs> I'm excited to see what came out of there. So it's not eight years in the making for it. This is 30 years in the making. That's now that you, right. Yeah. You've, you've driven by those cornfield many a days. Yep. And we got our fancy meat church glens. Shout out to our boy, Matt Pittman for sending us these. Yeah, absolutely. I'm getting hits of post oak and Blanco. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Holy gospel. Holy gospel. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. On with the nose. Oh, I like it. Yeah. There's some like cocoa dust, like cocoa powder. There's some like a little bit of slight hint of cherry, but I'm really getting a lot of that cocoa dust, cocoa powder. I get a little bit of fruit on the back of it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of raspberry kind of thing. Yeah, I get the raspberries. All right, well, on with the taste then. So it's nice and creamy, chocolatey up front. Then you get that nice fruit. Um... You know, there's not a ton of oak, but there it's just more like sweet, fruity, decadent. It, and at 121 proof, um, I was expecting it to be like more hit you in the face, but it's, I don't know, it's yeah. pretty approachable. Yeah. And to be honest, if you would have put this in a lineup with a bunch of weeded bourbons, I might not know. Yeah. Or a rye bourbon. I wouldn't know if it was actually a weeded bourbon or not. It it, it kind of plays a, a good party line, if you will. Yeah, it's definitely because they're traditional weeded mashed bills that much higher corn percent so you got much higher wheat on this and typically when we get really high wheat you start to get like grassy earthy you don't get any of that in this no you don't you don't but it but it's a yeah a really good balanced expression well eight years will do it for you there that's right so let's go ahead and let's rate this on the nose how you feeling thumbs up i like it the taste thumbs up really like it and the finish Thumbs up. Really like it. I think this one's a home run. Yeah. Like I said, it's good. It's definitely a lot hotter than I was going to anticipate going into it for the first one. But hey, this is our, it's our first recording of this day, so maybe that's just the reason why, too. Yeah, and I was tasting barrels earlier, so maybe I'm acclimated. <laughs> You're primed. I'm primed already. So. There we go. <laughs> well, that is a review of Heaven Hills Grain to Glass. This is their weeded bourbon release. With that, cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time. Doodles. Doodles.